right, today we're gonna make like some little spider eggs. A little web. Uh, we won't make one this big. We're gonna make a one almost this size. But we're gonna use a poker chip. And this is from a HeroScape base where I cut the figure off, remounted it on a base, and we'll use this for the spider eggs. For the eggs, we're gonna use BBs. But we're gonna try it with these. This will actually give it some weight too. And we'll use our hot glue some cotton, so I'm going to get some stuff together, and we'll get a few paints, and a couple rocks, and some scatter for it around there, and we'll see what we can come up with. And for our rocks, which this is from the Dollar Tree 2, it's just thicker rocks for doing the flower pots and stuff, the decoration, but we'll use some of that. And then just go out and get you some gravel, maybe put a rock or two around there, let's see what we can do. Right, to make it really easy, just get you some tack and put the bases on there so you can hold them. I'm using corks from wine bottles. Uh, you can find them anywhere. Just go buy you a bottle of wine. But the corks make a perfect little holding thing for even if you're painting miniatures or holding something you want to work. Real quick, just put some hot glue on there, just to give it some texture. And let it dry. And then you just want to use some black paint, paint over it, give it a black base, or any other color you'd like. Uh, I'm just going to use black. Alright, so when that's all dry, you're going to take your hot glue gun. If you want to put a rock on, just uh, hot glue the rock and then stick it on there. And then what I decided to do was just to make a pile of the rock so I could just hot glue on top of the base and then just stick it down in it instead of dropping them on there. And that way you put a little pressure in it, pressures itself and surrounds it all with hot glue real well. This one you already have the rock on there, so you can't really turn it upside down. You gotta throw you some rock on there. And just tap it with your finger to smush it down into it. Use as much or as little rock as you want. After it dries, just knock off all the excess, make it nice and smooth on the edges, and then put your big glob of hot glue where you want your eggs. And then take your BBs and just push them all down. Make sure they get a little bit of hot glue on them because they're, they're real slick and they'll pop right out. If you get some that pop out after it's already dry, no big deal. Just gives it that random look anyway.
Now go ahead and uh, paint these black. Just put a black base coat on them. And I'm going to use some vanilla ice cream color and paint the eggs. That one's wanting to come out. It's still sitting in there. And you can paint these eggs any color you want. I'm actually going to go over these with different colors. Alright, I got some glow-in-the-dark green, and I'm going to put this on one of them. Now, it's not really that the fact that you're going to be playing in the dark and glowing it, but it's the consistency of the paint makes it sort of see-through. So, with the color of the vanilla ice cream and then the green going on on a thin layer, it's almost sort of like a wash or a see-through. It gives it a nice glow to it. And this one I'm going to do yellow. It's a glow in a dark yellow. And as you can see, you can still see the vanilla ice cream color coming through the yellow. If you want, you can turn off the lights and then glow. Now this is just some dove gray it to uh, dry brush some of the textures and the rocks. Sort of bring out the highlights. You knock away a few rocks, no big deal. You're not taking nothing away. Alright, this is some clear Elmer's glue. I'm just going to put it all around them there and seal everything up. Then just get you some cotton while the Elmer's glue is still wet. Spread it out and just sort of push it down. Make a circle out of it and push it down along the edges and on top. adds to the visual effects of a spider's layer. This is a perfect little piece to add to your game when you're having a spider encounter. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, the table calls. Keep gaming.